The Tower of Babel. Years after the deluge, the world began to be populous. The narrative handed down by Noah and his sons was more or less forgotten, and the bow of promise lost much of its significance. Losing confidence in God, the people began the construction of the Tower of Babel, which was to save them in spite of God from any flood of waters of the future. Alas, how short-sighted, like others who possess much worldly wisdom. The scriptures deprecate such lack of faith among Christians and attempts to protect themselves and their earthly interests, leaving God and his plan out of their calculations. Some today ignore God after this manner, saying, Trust not in the Lord for the things promised. If you wait for God to do for you, nothing will ever be done. In other words, we are living in a day when faith in the divine will and in the divine plan and promises seems to be on the way. God settled the matter by confounding the language and scattering the people so that they could not cooperate in further foolish undertakings. The Bible refers to this saying, He hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord, if haply they might feel after him and find him. The diversity of languages is one of the most remarkable things in the world an effectual barrier to prevent mankind from combining for the accomplishment of their own purposes, selfish or sinful. It has delayed the great day of wrath. Now the language barriers are breaking down, and we find the tendency of humanity to reunite. Unions and trusts are being built by the rich and the poor, each for self-protection. The rule of kings and princes is threatened by the growth of common language and intelligence in the masses. Had these barriers been removed 2,000 years ago, similar results would have come too soon, according to the divine purpose, which is shaping Earth's affairs in preparation for Messiah's kingdom, which will bless the entire human family.